like to remind everybody, please wear your mask, ensure for social distancing. Every morning for the last 10 days, fire personnel from across California have met here at the Napa County Fairgrounds, where a small city has been set up as a base camp for the LNU complex fire. It's now the second largest fire in the state's history. We have a 360,000 acre fire that's still growing, and we got about 10 to 20 percent of the resources that we actually need. Also, uh, make sure everybody's screening for COVID and that they're doing daily temperature checks. Everyone here seems to be wearing a mask. Everybody has to wear a mask. all the time, but out on the fire line, that's not possible. No. Why is that not possible? We have an assignment to do, and we don't need to be wearing a mask unless we're close to another firefighter. And this year alone, I mean, it seems like places like Sacramento, Los Angeles aren't sending uh, firefighters here because of COVID. Their number one priority is taking care of their city and, and their citizens. And if they don't have enough personnel to send out and to help here, um, they're, not, they're, they're unable to do that. If you weren't able to keep everybody healthy, what would happen? So if there's firefighters that contract it, they're automatically put off. And if that happened, that spread, that could affect operations. And you're not in a position right now to lose any of these firefighters. No, we need every single one. Like we said, there's over 2,000 firefighters here. We probably would have had triple that amount if, uh, if we could have. We're here in the middle of the LNU complex fire. It's been burning for days now. There's helicopters buzzing about. They're dropping water on the flames on the hills behind us. They've been able to hold this line, and they're just making sure that this doesn't go anywhere else. We're on the road right up right here near Steel Gulch in this area. And that's right here behind us. Mark Cook is a fire safety manager tasked with making sure any emergency or incident here is handled swiftly. Has COVID been a challenge for you guys? It's harder to communicate sometimes with those masks on. Um, once we're out in the hills like this, then everybody's able to take them off because we're doing more physical exercise and we're distancing six feet from everybody and things like that. It seems like there has been a lot of resources that have been needed on these fires. There was, what, mm -hmm. 500 at one time in the state? Yeah. Has that been difficult just to get, you know, just the manpower needed to, to combat this? It is tough because we're all trying to get resources to our incident, and an incident of this size can typically take several thousand people, and um, it's for sure been a challenge. You just get that gut feeling that you can tell, hey, this is getting a little more active than I thought it was going to potentially, and so you call for support. When you got here six days ago, what was your gut telling you? That I'd be here for a while. <laughs>